Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight analysis video from Bellator 251, Janae Harding versus Jesse Melee. I was looking forward to this featherweight matchup, man, because I feel like, you know, featherweights on this level, they're still competitive. You know, once you get up to that Chris Cyborg, you know, it's just like all Cyborg from there, man. But I feel like on this level, you know, the fights are a little bit more competitive and you get to see some exciting back and forth action. And uh, in this one, man, I feel like Janae, she was the more technical striker. I think she did the better work. And she definitely earned a unanimous decision in this fight. But Jesse Mele, her relentless style and her pressure style of coming forward and striking her way in, it could be, it could get under your skin. But I think Janae handled it well. She made some good adjustments in that last round to take that uh, final round, and overall just did the better technical work. So that really made for a good action-packed fight. You know, you got a textbook fighter versus the uh, uh, the more relentless fighter. You know, it's going to kind of force. Uh, both of them into the center of the octagon and make them fight, you know, and whether it's on the ground or it's on the feet, it's going to be an exciting fight. But um, real quick, man, yeah, the first round, I feel like Janae pressed in with some nice right hands, you know, some nice solid textbook punches, you know, straight right hands right down the middle. Uh, Jesse was answering back with some kicks and strikes of her own, uh, more so pressure style. It wasn't really like some solid shots, you know, so um, while she's landing these shots, you know, Jessica's uh, excuse me, Janae, she's landing some straight shots straight up the middle, you know, just taking advantage of those openings. And um, Jesse, you know, she keeps that head cocked back, you know, she keeps that chin wide open. So Janae's planting that nice right hand and just knocking her back with those shots. But um, overall, Jesse was just trying to really stay active in this fight and, you know, punch her way into a clinch. And in that clinch, you know, she's landing some good elbows here and there, but I think Janae made better use of it. She was landing better elbows back and uh, better, uh, better punches. And Janae was really using her head well. You know, she was throwing good knees and turning Jesse with her hand. And she got in a good takedown. A good takedown. And when she was on top, she was landing some good solid elbows, dropping big elbows on uh, Jesse in this round. And I think she secured the round pretty strong. Uh, Jesse did land some good shots. Don't get me wrong. She landed a good uppercut, good straight left hand. But I think she wouldn't really have any. I, I don't think she had too much power behind it because she was kind of walking with her shots. Uh, the better shots were definitely from Janae in the first round. So. Uh, takedown and good punches landed uh, Janae that first round. Uh, second round, relentless pressure from Jesse. I feel like the cleaner shots were from Janae, but you know Jesse, uh, Jesse Mille having that chin, she was able to strike her way in for a clinch and take Janae to the fence again and get a takedown. And uh, Jesse had Janae in this weird arm lock position, but I feel like once Janae got out, it kind of went into the favor of uh, of Janae again because she was landing good elbows on uh, Jesse's head. Uh, similar to the first round and she was able to get back to her feet but uh jesse forced it back to a clinch and uh janae she to me was just taking advantage with another takedown which maybe again spoke that round I, I was telling somebody earlier i felt like jesse was winning that second round but i think overall this was another round for uh, janae you know i think she might have stole it with that takedown and um those good elbows uh those good elbows off of the mat um last round Again, man, Jesse, I know she has a good chin, but she leaves that chin wide open. So, you know, Janae, I was saying, like, if she sat down on these right hands, she probably could have KO'd her. But once again, you know, Jesse just coming forward with this relentless pressure and she's eating these hard right. She's eating these hard right hands. And um, the thing is, I think that also, like, Janae wasn't keeping good distance. Like, she would let her come straight in. Like, she wouldn't turn in an angle and land the right hand. So while she's punching her way in, you know, she's not able to get off a full extended power shot. You know, she's not able to get that full extended power shot. So Jesse had time to go in for a clinch and take it to the mat. And on the mat, I think Janae was controlling on top once again. You know, even with one hand while Jesse was trying to sink in a Kimura, I think Janae was controlling it. I think she was a lot more fluid and uh, got to the back of Jesse fast. Like she was that fluid. Like she got to the back of Jesse and tried to lock in a rear naked choke. Uh, she was unsuccessful, but. I still think that Janae took the last round. You know, I feel like she was much more dominant on the ground. She made better use of the takedown. Uh, Jesse, she was really relentless in there, you know, fighting back, trying to really hurt uh, Janae with these shots and that pressure. But I think that Janae was doing the better technical work. And like I said, almost got that rear naked choke in like the last 20 seconds of the round. So, yeah, I, I had it uh, three to three. Um, I actually had it 30, 27, three rounds to zero for uh, Janae Harding. I think she just did the better uh, technical work. Took advantage a lot of um, took advantage of, of a lot of the openings of uh, Jesse Mille in this fight, but uh, yeah, definitely a good fight. Um, still, a lot of technical work that needs to be done for Jesse Mille. You know, she's a very good pressure fighter, but leaves herself wide open. Uh, Janae Harding, 
you know, she's also a good uh, counter puncher. I feel like she's a good strong puncher, but there's still a lot of work that needs to be done with her, you know, with her takedown defense and how to kind of work those punches at an angle to get full extension off on those shots. But yeah, overall, it was a good competitive featherweight fight. Yeah, guys, definitely check the fight out. It's on uh, Bellator's YouTube channel. It's on the prelims, on the prelims card, so you can just pull up the most recent one and check it out there, man. But uh, yeah, guys, that's all I got under some combo breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.